Hey everyone, and welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. Today, we're going to talk about the fragrance from the House of Volgari, Wood Neroli. Stay tuned. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about a fragrance from the House of Bulgari. This one's called Wood Neroli. Here's the bottle. Just like all the other Bulgari man fragrances. This one here, according to Fragranica, the main accords are citrus, white, floral, woody, fresh, spicy, amber, animalic, aromatic, musky, powdery, and fresh. This fragrance, to me, has one of the coolest style bottles from the House of Bulgari. If you can see this. I love this little machine looking top here with the embossed freight wording and such. The caps are like this. The caps actually turn if you don't want them to spray. That's how you use it for travel. So you can actually turn it to the side. See how it's no longer spray to the front? It's off to the side here. So that it won't actually spray when you're traveling. Turn it back, then it's accessible to spray down. The top, if I can get that in focus, has the wording again. And the little thumbprint or I don't know if it, what, what you want to call it, but some cool some part of a cool design. The text on the front of this is in a bronze. It's very hard to show you. I will attempt to show it to you. Do you see it there? The, the bronze looks really nice. See how I get the light across there? Really cool looking the way this is. The green juice is like this greenish color. And of course, your batch code size and everything, if this will focus, is right there. The sprayer, <clears throat> pretty solid. I don't know if you're going to see that clearly or not, but it sprays pretty wide. Oh, it smells good in here right now. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a fan of Neroli. If I wasn't a fan of Neroli, this fragrance probably shouldn't be near me. Or at least I could give it a shot at that stage. Uh, Bulgari uh, Wood. Well, I keep calling it the wrong name. I keep going to call it Wood Essence. But uh, Wood Neroli, it definitely has a strong citrus opening along with the Neroli comes right out of the gate. You can smell it super strong. Um... <clears throat> wow, that spray I just sprayed is very strong. Uh, it does have a great, great projection um, coming off of your skin, off of your clothing uh, for, I want to say probably about two hours or so, you have something pushing off of your, your clothing up to two and a half hours, I would say is the most I really got out of this. It wasn't a super long, crazy projection. You know, first hour, you're getting a good amount of, of juice pushing off of there. Two, two and a half, you still get something popping off. For me, this didn't do crazy performance. Um, I had between four and five hours where is where it started to transition to skin scent or a little more than a skin scent, but not much more. And then at max, I got maybe six hours out of this. Could have been if I really want to go <clears throat> close to skin and just look for some sort of a scent remaining. Um, the Neroli undertone or woody, Whatever that component is that sticks out there, it's definitely the Neroli sticks out big time on this fragrance. Which, again, if you're a fan of Neroli, this one's probably a very easy decision to choose. Um, I never say go ahead and just go buy a fragrance. It's not really something I recommend to do. I always say go try a sample, things like that, because it makes it a lot easier to get your nose on different fragrances before you put the money in. Now, this one, I looked it up before I started recording this video, and I believe fragrance... Net had it for like 59 bucks for the 100 ml. I'm not sure if the coupon was applied then or any of that kind of stuff. Um, down below in the description, I always try to leave a copy of the coupon, the most recent one that I know of. It usually works. Not sure if the one that's currently going to be there today will work exactly because I'm not buying a fragrance today. But I'll keep throwing one down there. And if not, make sure you search on Google, uh, search around different places, uh, talk in the fragrance community, and make sure you do find a coupon. I think the main one you can get now is about 30%. It might be 25. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more. It used to be 35. Um, but just look for the highest one you can get because when you're buying something from somewhere like FragranceNet or FragranceX or things like that, there's always some kind of a coupon somewhere. Uh, now, as far as this one goes, <clears throat> like I said, opening. Sit, I'm going to spray my hand again. So this comes off right away. With a citrus opening, carrying a strong, the Neroli comes through so, so, so solid on this fragrance. I really do enjoy that part. But it's citrus. Hmm. 
This is a nice spring summer fragrance. This is a uh, nice citrus opening. Uh, some sort of a floral kicking in there. Not sure exactly what. It's not like a rose or something like that. But it's one that I actually enjoy. Sometimes the floral notes can get a little bit too cloying to me. And they make my nose get annoyed or aggravated. And I don't really know why. But for some reason that does that. Who knows? Ooh. It's, this is a very nice fragrance. Do I like this fragrance? Yes. I don't give it 10 out of 10. I don't give it 9 out of 10. I don't do a real rating system like that because fragrance is so subject to your own personal opinion that if I said it was, it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Well, that means today at this very moment when I'm smelling this today, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. What if I build up some sort of a scent memory down the line that ruins part of this fragrance for me? And then I go smell it again, and I just don't like it for whatever the reason is. I have a bad memory or something comes into play that just sticks out about this, or I was wearing it when something negative happened, and it just, you know, set that bad memory. So when I talk about fragrances, I just tell you what they smell like to me. I hope you enjoy that part because it just makes it easy to keep it real. So again, this one here, uh, performance-wise, like I said, hour, you get solid projection easily pushing off your, like even right now that for spray I sprayed in the room is still going what's on my hand is good I sprayed a tester stuff like an hour ago that's really good actually that dried down hmm on here versus skin is funny because this is a little bit sweeter than what I ever smell on my skin that's funny but yeah so this one here is citrus opening goes for a little bit not super long maybe half hour at the most probably less than that 15 20 minutes maybe with the citrus burst that starts to fade and you kick the the floral notes that i was just talking about come out a little bit stronger after the floral notes uh you still have neroli just pushing 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 um or whatever that is <laughs> it's so good and then it gets to this little like fresh spicy powdery something or other that that whole neroli feeling that I consider neroli when I'm smelling it. That's what I'm getting from that is this really cool, fresh. It's like, it's a fresh powdery type of a scent. This, this type of a fragrance, like I'm, I'm a big fan of Iris. I'm a big fan of neroli. Um, it just seems like a, a, an easy reach fragrance when you're looking for something that is a clean, fresh scent. That's, that's what this one is for me. Um, I, you know what I'll do is I'll do a video. I'll do this one. Wood essence, and uh, any of the other Bulgari Man fragrances uh, that I have. I think I have Man in Black as well. I think I have those three only right now. And I'll do a comparison, let you guys know what I think about the three, which one's my favorite, which one's my second favorite, so on and so forth. Uh, I do like the whole line, though, so far. The three that I have just ahead of time before we get there. I am a fan of all three. And uh, this one here, Wooden Rolly, it's no different. This is a nice fragrance. Do I recommend going to buy it? Like I said earlier, sample it, definitely. Um, but... So I always talk about this little part of the fragrances that get my nose to do like a, a tingle if I have, if I really enjoy something. And this fragrance, when it starts to dry down after that, really 15 minutes or so, once it gets from there uh, to about 15 minutes to a half hour, it keeps going through that portion that gets like a fresh spicy or, or something like that, that I smell when I smell something like Opus from Arm Off. Not that these are the same fragrances or anything close, but there's this thing in there and I don't know how to describe it that makes my nose literally tingle. I think I talked about it in one of my most recent uh, videos. I don't remember what fragrance that was about because there's a lot of fragrances I talk about. But <clears throat> Zerjoff Kobe does this and this fragrance does it. I can already start smelling that thing I'm talking about in my hand and I, and I wish I could describe it you differently than that. But I think in this case, it's something to do with that it just smells so good. So again, if you're not a fan of uh, fragrances that have neroli, this may not be for you. Um, this is just, for me, it's, it's an easy reach. It's, it's a winner. It smells so fresh, so good. Uh, I have not worn this enough. I've probably only worn this six or seven times and I really do enjoy it every time I wear it. And like I said, projection-wise, all that kind of stuff, it lasts more than enough for what you need to do. I do reapply this 
I think I would reapply this a second time through the day if I was wearing it for like a day scent um, or fragrance of the day. I would not probably wear this too often at night. I would probably wear something else unless I just had it with me because it would be okay for that. But for me, office setting, uh, going around like that, uh, springtime, summertime, walking down the beach, things, things of that nature, this would work as well. It's just, it's a really easy fragrance. It has that nice neroli uh, mixture with whatever that thing is that makes my nose get that little tingle. There's just a spicy something in there that's just, it's a big winner for me. So, again, I'm going to try to hold this up for you. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Am I a little cold still? Looking at Vulgari, Man, Wood Neroli. This is a different winner for me. So do me a favor. I might be rambled on this because I was pretty excited about to talk about this fragrance today because I realized it did that thing for me that I, it, it's almost like an automatic win for a fragrance. When I get that, that little spicy tingle thing in my nose and I, I wish to God I could describe that more than that. So that's a wrap. Hopefully you liked this video today. I got a little bit carried away with talking about how much I enjoyed this fragrance. So I think you understand. Bulgari Man Wood Neroli is a winner for me. So uh, have you tried this fragrance? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you like one of the other ones from the Bulgari Man line better? Is there something that you want to recommend to me from the line that I should try? Like I said, I've tried uh, Wood Neroli, Wood Essence, and Man in Black. I like all three of them. We'll go through some more details about those another time. But throw the comments down below. Which one's your favorite? Is there another one that you think I should try? Throw that down there. I'd love to get my nose in some more of these. And uh, if you haven't done so already and you enjoy the content we're doing here, please consider clicking that subscribe button, toss the little bell, boom. And uh, if you like this specific video, please tap that like button. Show us some support. I really do appreciate it. When you do throw comments down below, I do aim to contact or reply it to you on every single comment that comes through. Uh, I think I've been pretty successful so far. So I, I just really enjoy interacting with everybody and, you know, talking about our love of fragrances. It's that simple. So remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.